I recorded a video about six months ago when I put down a pre-order on the first 1,000 mile range electric car. It's made by a company in the United States. And frankly, I've been hoping all this time that I would actually get one. Now, I wasn't 100% confident that the car would ever be made. However, all of a sudden, things have changed. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. I am quite excited today because I really think now it might be possible that I get this electric car. I put down a hundred US dollars to pre-order one of these cars, and the model that I ordered has 1,000 miles of range, plus it has solar panels on the car. It can basically drive itself. It's extremely lightweight, insanely aerodynamically efficient. Its CEO is a guy you have to respect. He says a lot of things that just make a lot of sense. He's not one of those crazy kind of Trevor Milton type characters or Mary Barra type characters. This guy just says things straight up. He's a straight talker. And now the car has just been revealed in full production specification. And I've got to say, I'm excited. I want it. It's actually an absolute bargain. Aptera has publicly debuted the Gamma version of its 1,000 mile range solar electric vehicle. Following the teasing of interior images of the Gamma version of its upcoming solar electric vehicle last month, Aptera officially debuted the full prototype in front of a crowd in San Diego at Fully Charged Live. Gamma now marks Aptera's biggest milestone as it approaches electric production in 2023. Honestly, I will 100% commit to buying this car. I'm putting it out there if they will deliver it to me. They've let me place the order. They know I'm in Australia. They know that I want the car. They've seen my videos. And frankly, I don't know if it's going to come, but I sure am excited to get one if they do bring them here. A thousand miles of range. Well, it's only just over 40,000 US dollars. This is by far the cheapest vehicle in the world for the range it achieves dollar per mile that this thing can do it's the cheapest but the thing is add to that you can get enough power on this thing for the average commuter to never have to charge it never i mean the average commuter only does about 30 kilometers per day in fact average i do less than that so this for me would be awesome now obviously i'd need a different car for my boys for their bikes for weekends that's fine this would be perfect though for the rest of the time Aptera has had quite a journey in bringing solar electric vehicles to reality in the US, says Electric. As the second iteration of the company, it unveiled its flagship Aptera electric vehicle in late 2020, which was soon followed by three different alpha versions complete with black, white, and metallic silver exteriors. In early 2022, the San Diego-based startup began sharing progress of both its beta version and that vehicle actually beat a Tesla Model 3 performance and an Audi R8 GT Spider in a drag race. So, I mean, the thing isn't a Nicola Tray, which, you know, you had to roll down the hill to make it work. It works, it drives, and it's incredibly fast. Following beta phase, the company moved to a new 80,000 square foot facility slightly north of Carlsbad, California, where the company's electric vehicles will be manufactured. In early August, Aptera began teasing its latest prototype, Gamma. It initially began with a social media post with images of the interior that offers a clean, minimalist look, complete with instrument cluster and center display screens. Video footage released later in August gave the public an even closer look at the Gamma phase Aptera. So now we have a better view at the actual production version of the car. This is the exterior. This is the interior. Honestly, it looks insane. I love it. It's crazy. You know, it could be the future of electric cars. I mean, think about it. Does everyone, do most people really need a big car to, to get around? I think most people actually don't. You know, the increase in single person households, it's the fastest growing type of accommodation in the West. It's the fastest growing type of accommodation in the United States, the fastest in Australia, and it's not even close. 
single person households are really becoming a major part of our society. Does a single person need a car bigger than this? Probably not. I mean, realistically, you can even put a roof rack on the top of this thing and stick a surfboard on top. So it's actually not as impractical as you think. As you can see, there was quite a big crowd around the Aptera booth at the San Diego Convention Center yesterday when the company kicked off day one of the fully charged live show with the public debut of its prototype. And as you can see from these images, this is the most production ready version of their solar EV and it looks legit. Aptera says that Gamma will soon be followed by Delta prototypes, which will be the production version. So this is kind of like one step before that. And then the EVs will be assembled in Southern California. Aptera currently has over 32,000 reservations for its flagship electric car, telling over 10,000 new reservations since May. I'd like to claim that I have some credit for some of that. I probably don't though, but regardless, I am one of those 32,000. The startup says it remains on track to begin ramping up scale production in 2023. And personally, I'm hoping to go to the United States next year to visit the facility, to visit Tesla in Texas, maybe even, who knows, maybe even in Canada by then as well, as well as their factory, of course, in Fremont, and to visit any other electric vehicle factories in the US. If you guys have any ideas and tips on new electric startups who you think would allow me to go and have a look, to film it, to check it out next year, let me know in the comment section below. Now, what I want to know is, would you consider buying one of these? The 1,000 mile range version costs around 44,000 US dollars. That is, in my view, an unbelievable bargain. Now, yes, it looks wacky, but actually when you think about it, it beat, it beat an Audi R8 GT in a drag race. So this is a sports car with a 1,000 mile range that charges itself from the sun. It's probably the best value sports car in history, if you think about it from that perspective. Now, if you want to put down a, a reservation, you can for a hundred US dollars. There's actually cheaper versions, much cheaper versions. You can get a 250 mile range version for only 25,900 US dollars. It comes standard with a solar roof plus dash. However, if you want to get the solar hood, that's an extra 300. Then you can also get the solar rear hatch. That's an extra 600 and all panels solar is 900. So basically, if you want to get the 250 mile range version, it comes down with a solar roof and dash. Then you can get the hood and the rear hatch in solar as well for an extra 900 bucks. So realistically, you're looking at less than $27,000 for a car that will charge itself with 250 miles of range. And that version of the car, it's not the full speed version. It'll do zero to 62 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds. However, in optimum conditions, it will actually recharge the battery 40 miles of range per day. Obviously, if you're living in California, perfect car for you guys. You guys get so much sun, you're probably going to get an average of 30 miles a day in charging just from those solar panels on top of the car. Now, many people say it doesn't make economic sense to have a car with solar panels, but I'm sorry, for $900, to get you know 30 miles of range per day, $900 period, that's all you're ever gonna pay, that does make sense, it really does. So looking at the specs here, if you want the version with 400 miles of range, it's only $4,000 more. Then 600 miles of range, it's only 34,600. 1,000 miles of range, 44,900 US dollars. So it comes standard in front wheel drive. If you want all wheel drive, it is an extra two and a half thousand US dollars, but that does increase the speed from 5.5 seconds to 3.5 seconds for that zero to 62 mile per hour sprint. Now, one of the things that I really like about the CEO, he's the kind of CEO who compliments other CEOs. He's a lot like Herbert Deese. And Jim, both of those CEOs are complimentary of other CEOs. When other CEOs and other companies do things that they admire or they think are impressive, they'll publicly say it. And I have a lot of respect for CEOs like that. He does that. He calls out Tesla when they do things that he agrees with and they think have done, and that when he thinks they've done things well and operated in a way that Aptera aim to emulate in some ways. And that's why I think this company will be successful. They're humble. They've got a product that's extremely impressive. And the price, well, hey, 
It's an absolute bargain, but that's just my opinion. Let me know if you agree or you disagree in the comment section below. As always, let's bring on the electric revolution. It's coming and it's exciting.